Hello, Valley View High School. My name is Grant Ingstrom. And I'm Brock Wilson. And welcome to our fourth episode of VSPN. We are very excited for you to join us today. I hope that this week is going well for you all so far. Now, let's dig into what is happening so far this week and what will be coming up later. For lunch today, you have the option of a delicious wiener wrap, a scrumptious chicken sandwich, an exquisite pepperoni pizza, a flavorsome turkey sandwich, or a delectable chef salad. Sign-up forms for this, sessions of, for this session of Driver's Ed are in office now, so all you non-licensed high schoolers should probably get a form so you don't have to ride the bus. Priority is given to the 30 oldest students first. Make sure you fill out the sign-up sheet and get it to the office by Wednesday, September 1st. So hurry up and get those forms. The freshman football team has their first game here tomorrow at the Nest against Twin Falls. Kickoff is at 4 p.m. JV also has a game at the Nest tomorrow. They're also going against Twin Falls and their kickoff is at 6.30 p.m. On Friday, varsity football has a game at Twin Falls. Kickoff is at 7 p.m. So go and support your Falcons as much as possible. The men's varsity soccer team won their first game last Friday against Rocky Mountain 3-1, then later on Monday lost lost to Centennial 3 to 0. Here's an interview with Mr. Adamson. Hey guys, Mason Heiner here with Mr. Adamson. Mr. Adamson, you are a soccer coach and you guys played soccer. Did you win the first one? Well, first off, yes, we did play soccer. Um, football if you're in England. Uh, we won on Friday against Rocky Mountain and then we lost unfortunately against Centennial yesterday. That's a shame. Yeah. So, uh, why did you lose? Um, we scored less goals than the other team. That's why we lost. You know what? I heard that that's actually how you play soccer. You score goals. Uh, so, what makes a good soccer player? Um, drive, ambition, effort, skill. Skill? Yeah. Skills is, what's the most important part? Um, you got to be good with your feet, not your hands. So, you got to be able to? Unless you're in goal. Oh, okay. So, unless you're the goalie, you have to be able to, like, walk? Is that, what's the, like... Can they, do they have to like run a lot? Yes, a lot of running, a lot of walking, a lot of sprinting, jogging, everything. For, no, for 90 minutes, if it's college or a higher level, we play 40-minute uh, halves, wow. so 80-minute games. That's a lot. That's like an hour and more than that. So uh, soccer players, does it have anything to do with uh, Pong? Um, yes. A little bit is, you know, hand-eye coordination, mm -hmm. ping-pong, foot-eye coordination. Do you think, do you think a, a goalie would be good at ping-pong? Possibly. Uh, they they gotta, it might be a little bit easier. Maybe? Just a little bit? A little bit. All right, well, I think we should play some ping pong. Yeah. Yeah? That's okay. That was a... I'll start. Okay. Okay. Here, serve again. Okay, I'll, I'll serve again. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh nice. Oh! oh. That was what? Good. Let's go. Again. Yeah. Close. That was a foul. Okay. Foul. On. Redo. Redo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it actually. <laughs> okay. Okay. I've got it. Hey guys. Girls soccer at a game last night. The JV girls won their game against Centennial. The score was two to one. The varsity girls sadly lost their game zero to three, with Centennial scoring two in the first half. What a small world we live in these days, passing by like leaves in the wind. Anyways, that is all for the Valley View news for today. For some Idaho news and information, but not very interesting, but it's news, it's news. Now for today's Falcon fact. Many of you may be able to ramble off thousands of things you're afraid of, and some of you may only have a few, but you all have something. The crazy thing about that is that humans are the only or the only two innate fears. In other words, we are only born with two fears. According to CNN, scientists have found that we are naturally born with both the fear of falling, basophobia, and the fear of loud no noises, phonophobia. Any other phobia, fear, or fear you have gained, since this is something that you have learned over time through your own personal experiences. Starting with the local news, the city of Nampa is currently wanting to reroute the highway, highway 45 from downtown Nampa. The highway, as of current, is bringing freight trucks through downtown Nampa. 
This traffic often blocks pedestrians and other cars. It is currently believed that rerouting the highway would improve traffic flow through downtown Nampa. Nampa's Public Works Department is gathering public input right now on the idea and is hosting an open house from 5.30 to 7 p.m. at the Nampa Civic Center to discuss the possible reroute of the highway. Now we have a little, we have a little national news form for the once. Hurricane Henry, Sunday, the storm made a landfall and cost the road and cost on Rhode Island and knocked out the power for over 140,000 homes. That's a lot. Henry was downgraded from a hurricane to a tropical storm before it reached England. The storm continued to dump heavy rains, flooding areas as far as New Jersey and even though it took on a tropical depression status. Henry has sustained 60, miles per hour, 60 mile per hour winds and gusts up to 70 miles per hour when it made landfall. These winds had died down to 30 miles per hour as it moved towards the... Okay. <laughs> that is all we have for you on August 25th, 2021. Have a great rest of your day and we'll see you on Friday. And make sure you all say a big happy birthday to our producer, Carter Jones. He is finally 17. Yeah, Carter Jones! Woo! And remember, no, no PDA. PDA! Have a good day.